We learned new information at this morning's hearing in the first public iteration of the impeachment proceedings against the president. We learned that the day after Donald Trump spoke to his Ukrainian counterpart, he then spoke again to Gordon Sondland, who is the U.S. ambassador to the European Union. And according to the testimony we heard today, the president asked about the status of his request for investigations into his political rival, Joe Biden. Last Friday, a member of my staff told me of events that occurred on July 26th. While Ambassador Volker and, I, Volker and I visited the front, this member of my staff accompanied Ambassador Sondland. Ambassador Sondland met with Mr. Yerbach. Following that meeting, in the presence of my staff, at a restaurant, Ambassador Sondland called President Trump and told him of his meetings in Kyiv. The member of my staff could hear President Trump on the phone asking Ambassador Sondland about the investigations. It sounds as if today, based on what, what Bill Teller said, is that when he gave his earlier deposition uh, uh, several weeks ago, that he was not aware of that conversation. And he said he only recently learned about it from his staff. And so he decided to publicly update uh, the impeachment investigators. And that's a pretty significant revelation. And the Bidens um, was clearly identified. It shows Donald Trump's continuing interest, even after his phone call with President Zelensky, in having Ukraine commit to investigations into uh, his political rival, Joe Biden, and his son, Hunter, and the Ukrainian gas company, Burisma, on whose board Hunter Biden sat. And it shows that even after he had asked the Ukraine president about it, he is following up with his own people, his own envoys, to make sure that, in fact, that commitment, that pledge is moving forward. And that commitment is, is important because the president had made the delivery of military aid contingent on Ukraine publicly committing to that investigation. That investigation, at the very least, was mentioned by President Trump in the July 25th phone call with President Zelensky. Is that right? It's important to note that Gordon Sondland, who has also given a private uh, deposition and is supposed to testify publicly next week, has not indicated uh, or recollected anything remotely close to this sort of conversation. So I imagine Gordon Sondland will, have, will be asked about this, and, and it's not clear that he'll confirm uh, it in the same sort of evocative detail. Yes, I, yes on, on September 25th, that transcript was released. That will continue. And that, Mr. Chairman. There was some considerable attention given to the text messages that Bill Taylor had exchanged with two other envoys, Gordon Sondland and Kurt Volker. And in that text message, um, uh, Bill Taylor had said, I think it's crazy to withhold military aid for domestic political gain. And he was asked by Adam Schiff's investigative chief, Daniel Goldman, well, why is it so crazy? And he said, look, this military aid is really significant, not just for Ukraine, but for our own U.S. national interests. They're a country that needed it, and so the idea that you would you would withhold it for whatever reason, and particularly for that reason, he said was, was foolish and counterproductive to all that the U.S. had for years been trying to accomplish.